Hey everybody, it's Joe Delera, and I've got two of my favorite plays for tonight's Monday NBA slate. The first pick is Scotty Barnes over 16 and a half rebounds and assists. He's really not had a ton of opportunity to play without both Pascal Siakam and Fred Van Vliet. And I think that the most surprising thing, honestly, is was that in the last game against the Pacers, where he had this first opportunity, his usage was just 21.1% which is in line with his full season numbers. But I think that this is a little bit skewed because he had 20 potential assists, but only five actual. So I think that we're gonna see a lot more playmaking and we should see that regress to a mean of about 50% conversion rate for Scotty Barnes. So the issue here is that the Pistons are legitimately bad. Uh, they're last in adjusted net rating, and Barnes should have an absolute field day in this matchup, considering the fact that the Pistons, they're about average in terms of the amount of assists they allow to forwards, but they're bottom three in rebounds allowed to the forward position, which is where Scotty Barnes likes to play. So I think that this line is just too low. I know that we're looking at this, and if you look at his historical charts, he's not, he doesn't really hit this number all that often, but given the injuries and the illness to Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam, I can totally see Scotty Barnes going over 16 and a half rebounds and assists in this contest. The second bet that I'm looking at is the Boston Celtics team total, and I'm targeting the first half specifically, which has a team total of 59 and a half. They're playing the Thunder today, and Boston is just absolutely cooking. They're number one in adjusted offensive rating, and they're number one overall in terms of adjusted net rating. And look, the Thunder, they like to play fast. They're seventh in pace, and I think this is a significant pace up spot for Boston, who is 22nd in the league in pace. But there's something to consider here, and that's on the, the fact that the Thunder are on the second game of a back-to-back -back after that barn burner in New York, and they may have some tired legs as they have to play the league's number one offense. I think that the Thunder are going to struggle to keep up, so that's why I'm targeting Boston specifically. Boston's exceeded this number in eight of 13 games, but in five of the last six. So I want to take advantage of the first half line because I don't want to avoid any potential blowouts in this game. So I'm going to be taking Boston's first half team total of over 59 and a half. So to recap, my two favorite bets for Monday's NBA slate are Scotty Barnes over 16 and a half rebounds and assists and the Boston Celtics over 59 and a half points in the first half.